that is my space my little oasis to myself um, <laughs> Welcome back to Blueprint DIY, Angelina here. And today, I wanted to give you guys a um, tour of my bedroom. I have redone it um, since everything that happened. As I am thinking about my own health and trying to stay as healthy as possible, um, you know, I was getting sinus infections like one every couple of months. And, you know, partially because of thrifting and partially because, and a lot because of having these uh, so many um, fabric surfaces in my bedroom and um, so it was necessary for me to get rid of them I <clears throat> was not ready to move my husband's clothes I still have not gotten rid of anything but um, but I have moved everything so I wanted to show you guys what I have done um, because this will be um, actually probably a space I'll be recording in sometimes now. So I want you guys to see it and see what I've done. Okay, so these are two mirrors that I got from, I was gonna say I thrifted or they basically are thrifted. They're from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. If you have never checked to see if you guys have one in your area, check and see. Um, I think they're a great resource for home building um, items. They used to be, you know, like the mirrors that um, are for closet doors. I think this mirror, these mirrors are gonna be good for outfit of the days. Yes, very casual today. Very, very casual today. <laughs> then, I have this furry ottoman. I really don't like how furry it is. It's like a f really, really, really fake fur, but I like the shape of it. So I may eventually reupholster it later on. A lot of stuff in this room is stuff that I already had, um, but this lamp, and you can see, I still have to patch the holes on the walls. Before I do too many videos, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so you guys don't have to see those holes in the walls. But um, I had that lamp already. It's an old Ikea lamp from way back. And I got the, I had that chair. I got those chairs many years ago off of a guy on eBay. Um, they had arms on them. I may go get the arms and put it back on there, but they're a nice classic mid-century modern chair. I have two of them and I brought one up here. And back in the day, I reupholstered it with the white fabric. I got the new pillow from Big Lots. Um, and then I decided to finally get some plants. Um, I am like anti-plant because I just don't wanna have to think about keeping anything alive except for me and the kids. So, But I finally decided to get some plants because I found these. I mounted the brackets from Ikea and hung them on here. And I have a cactus in this one, and then the other one over there, on the other side of the bed, I have a succulent. So I really, really like that, uh, having two different shapes on these. Then I have just a, a old vase that I had um, for a very long time, some flowers. Those are artificial flowers, of course, back there. And then I made this little rack with two hooks and um, two hooks and a wire hanger. <laughs> you guys know how I do. Um, made that um, for my glasses because I really, really like glasses. And I've been saying that I've been wearing my glasses like most people change wigs, I change glasses, so. Oh, these baskets were at Big Lots as well and I just spray painted them gold. And then this was um, my husband's dresser and some of his stuff I just can't, I'm, I'm not at the point yet that I can move it so you'll see some things still there. Um, that are his but this was his dresser and I was able to move things out of there because 
um, in order to get everything off of that wall over there i had to um find someplace else for them so all of my clothes are in the closets but in the drawers are shoes shoes handbags and more shoes and um those mirrors are from way back they will eventually go once i find a nice big and this is funny look at this this is from our 1970s house where it used to have an intercom i gotta figure out something for that if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments but um after i find a nice big piece of artwork for that um i just want a saying i saw one on instagram and it just said be still that one really spoke to me you know as far as like telling myself to just go to sleep um but anyway i got this um topper from ikea i really like how it makes the dresser look um i wish it covered the whole dresser but it's cute you know sitting right there so on top of that dresser used to be um used to be ironing board so i have my ironing board over the door now and it has been working out so so well i iron the kids clothes in here in the morning um so yeah that is it and um that's one of my husband's sweaters i am going to eventually make it into like a pillowcase and um it's from one of our early dates and he 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 kept it he never really wore it after we got married but i'm so glad he kept it because he uh, got hot and took it off you know guys always wear t-shirts under sweaters which that seems like the hottest thing in the free world but um he had on a t-shirt underneath it and he took the he took the sweater off and it had his cologne on it and he accidentally left it at my um I think I was in I was visiting him in San Antonio he left it in my hotel room and um I think I slept with it that night so <laughs> I kept it and it's hanging there so eventually I'm gonna make it into a pillowcase or something like that but at any rate Thank you guys for watching. That's my new room, my new space. And you guys will be seeing more of it because like I said, I'll be shooting in here some. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peter. I love you. Yes. Tina. You got blood? So much for having a space of your own, right? So what? So what? Come on this side and say bye to everybody. Bye! Say please subscribe. Please subscribe.